Hi, Storytime friends. It's Miss Nadia from the Carlinville Public Library. It's good to see you guys again. And I'm excited to share two more wonderful stories with dinosaurs. So let's get started. I've got my music maker. And if you have your music makers, go get one. A tambourine or a shaker or a drum and you can shake them while we sing the song ready here he comes just a stomp in his feet singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do searching all around for something good to eat singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do He's huge, he's huge, he's strong, he's strong, he's huge, he's strong, he won't be hungry for very long. Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do, Dino diddy diddy dum diddy do, woo! Good job guys. All right, you ready? The first story today is Flap doodle dinosaurs this story is super cute and i got this from my sister's kids in texas it's called flap doodle dinosaurs and if you know the color of the dinosaur that'll be awesome let's see hmm who's inside the loaf of bread Thanks inside there. Oh, look it! It's Tyrannosaurus Red. T Tyrannosaurus Red, he loves to frighten little children. Oh no. And he's ready to be fed. But if you feed him toast and bugs, he won't scare you. He'll give you hugs. There he is. Who's inside that old radio? Oh my goodness. Back in the day, you had to use radios, not phones, not iPods. You had to use a radio to listen to music. Oh, look it. It's Velociraptor Green. She's the quickest dancing dinosaur that you have ever seen. And now that you have met, if you treat her very kindly, she may stay and be your pet. Okay. Very. She looks very speedy. Who's inside the watermelon? Look at that big watermelon. It's Spinosaurus Purple. His friends just call him Murple. His favorite drink is a melon slurple. It makes his stomach go gurple, gurple, gurple. Look at he's eating. He's pulling that bamboo out of the out of the water. <gasps> Who's inside the china teapot? Hmm. <gasps> it's Stegosaurus Yellow. Look at Stegosaurus. He's got all those plates on his back. His nose looked like a russet potato. And his favorite food is the flying tomato. When he's happy, he wags his tail. Ready? Ooh, like a puppy dog. But watch out, folks. It's as sharp as a nail. Look at it. So sharp. Who's inside the shiny toaster? It's Diplodocus Blue and her blue babies too. She sometimes goes by Sue. Her favorite color is baby blue. And she often whispers, I love you. Do you love Diplodocus Blue and her blue babies too? I like them a lot. Only because blue's my favorite. It's my favorite color. She's so tall. Who's inside that jar of pickles? 
Oh my goodness, it's Trisire Tops Pink. Oops, she got splattered with ink. But she looks rather good, don't you think? Her eyes are as orange as the sky, and she hunts all day long for green pickle pie. Look at, she's got a big mouth, doesn't she? Looks like she could bite me, but she wouldn't want to eat me. She likes plants. Like pickles. Oh my goodness, oh, we're to the end of the book. Look at all them together. I love it. Stegosaurus yellow right here with all the plates. Is feeling very mellow. Velociraptor green is the quickest dancing dinosaur that you have ever seen. Tyrannosaurus pink, or yeah, Tyrannosaurus red is ready for bed. He looks tired. Triceratops pink is still splattered with pink, or with ink. Spinosaurus purple made a loud, big loud burple. And Diplodocus Blue is whispering, I love you. <gasps> Flapdoodle dinosaurs say, good night, sleep tight. We'll see you again tomorrow night. They're all going down for a nap, I think. Okay. I love this book. I love pop-up books. They are awesome. What was your favorite dinosaur? Hmm. Man, that's a hard one. I, I think I like the Stegosaurus today. Sometimes it changes. Sometimes it's Diplodocus blue, but I like the, I think I like Stegosaurus because he wags his tail and he's yellow and he's got all those big plates on his back. I think that's my favorite. Let's see. The next thing we're gonna do is, um, Ready for this one? Can you put your hands up like this? Shake them, shake them. Get some more wiggles out, and we're gonna sing another song. Put your hands like this, like we're running. And we're gonna run. Ready? Run, run, dinosaur, run. Run, run, dinosaur, run. Run, run, dinosaur, run. Slow dinosaur, slow. Hop, dinosaur, hop. Hop, dinosaur, hop. Hop, dinosaur, hop. Stop, dinosaur, stop. Spin, dinosaur, spin. Spin, dinosaur, spin. Spin, dinosaur, spin. Sit, dinosaur, sit. Good job, guys. I like that one. And the next thing we're gonna do is read about Gigantosaurus. It, he is huge and scary. Gigantosaurus. There they are. These are all friends. And they like to play around in the jungle and swamps. So, oh, look at that character's name is Bonehead. He's kind of silly. Gigantosaurus. With a big footprint. All right. So, millions, many million years ago, beyond the path of the lava flow, on the edge of the jungle where the herbivores grazed, four little dinosaurs spent their days. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Playing in the Cretaceous sun, following tracks and having fun. Look how big tracks. The dinosaur mom said, Beware, my child, of the gigantosaurus so fierce and wild. With teeth as long as you are tall, he'd soon make a snack of one so small. His feet go stomp, his jaws go crunch. In a blink of an eye, you'd be his lunch. The 
mothers are very worried when they go out. So Bonehead, Tiny, and Bill went off to play up on the hill. The Gigantosaurus was on their minds till Bonehead said, I think you'll find we need a lookout and I'm the best. I'll get a good view from that termite nest. Look what they're all scared. Just thinking about the big eyes and the big teeth. And then they're like, so he's going to be the lookout. Make sure. But it was only a minute before Bonehead cried. It's Gigantosaurus. Quick, run and hide. Thud, thud, thud. They ran, they hid, they shook with fear. The Gigantosaurus was coming near. Look at, does that look like a Gigantosaurus? I don't know, let's find out. But there was no stomp, there was no crunch. No fierce monster had smelled his lunch. It's tri just Triceratops, Bonehead declared. You ran, you hid, you were all so scared. <laughs> Look at him. That's his dad. He says, hello, dad. Hello, son. But you passed my emergency warning trial. Now I'll keep watch from that rock a while. So he's going to move over to a rock. But a little bit later, Bonehead cried, The Gigantosaurus! Quick, run and hide! Boom, boom, boom. They ran, they hid, they shook with fear. The Gigantosaurus was coming near. Oh my goodness, does that look like a Gigantosaurus foot? I don't know, let's find out. Oh my gosh. But there was no stomp, there was no crunch, no hungry beast after snacks to munch. Oh, it's old Diplodocus, Bonehead declared. You ran, you hid, you were all so scared. <laughs> not a very nice friend. Whoops, I knocked down my friend. I put him back. Um, but danger lurks as you need to learn. I'll look out from that enormous fern. It didn't take long till they heard a shout. Gigantosaurus, you better watch out! Thump, thump, thump. Look. You think that's Gigantosaurus? I don't know. I can't remember if Gigantosauruses have big plates like that. So they ran, they hid, they shook with fear. The Gigantosaurus was coming near. But there was no stomp, there was no crunch, no carnivore with a whiff of lunch. It's Stegosaurus. Bonehead declared, you ran, you hid, you were all so scared. <laughs> but at least you passed my final test. Now I'll take a nap in that comfy nest. Look at it. Stegosaurus. He's got all those plates. Bonehead, he's going to go take a nap. We'll find out what happens next. He's supposed to be the lookout. And seconds later, the cry began. Gigantosaurus! Run as fast as you can! But although his friends heard what Bonehead cried, by now they knew that Bonehead lied. That's it, said Bill. We're off to explore, and we're not going to play with you anymore. Look at it. They're all ready to go play. Oh, but look at that. Looks like a big mouth, doesn't it? And, hmm. Uh oh. Let's look and see what happens. <gasps> With everyone gone, Bonehead was alone. He began to wish he was back home because an awful noise was coming near, and now there was good reason for fear. The feet went stomp. Look at he's up there by himself. There's big feet coming and a big old tail. Oh, 
the jaws went crunch and the gigantosaurus had his lunch. Uh-oh, there's the nest. I don't see Bonehead there. Oh no. Bonehead's friends came running back after they heard the tree go crack. Poor old Bonehead, it's such a shame. What a sad end to his naughty game. Even though the, he tricked and lied, at least he taught us how to hide. Look at, he says, burp. And it says, but then they heard a muffled cry from the scraps of the nest that lay nearby. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I'm here, it's me, I survived. I'm sorry that I tricked and lied, but this time, honestly, it's true. There's a pteranodon after you. And though Bonehead thought they'd run in fright, his friends just shrugged and said, yeah, right. Look at, there's Gigantosaurus leaving, look at. There is a pteranodon coming. I don't know if he's interested in them, though. In this book, it says, meet the dinosaurs in this book. And here's the, all the different ones. And here's this one. That's boneheads. It's an ankylosaurus, a full-grown adult. Could weigh to five to six tons. That's a lot. And then here's the stegosaurus. He's got the big plates. And it says, the stegosaurus, Spike tail is called a phagomizer. Hmm. And here's the triceratops. He's got the three horns. And it says he has a huge skull and one third the length of, and it's one third the length of its whole body. So he's mostly head. And here's the Parasaurolophus. Paleontologist um, or scientists who study ancient animals and plants think. This dinosaur's large crest was used to make sounds. He made sounds with that. And then there's the Brachiosaurus right here. Um, they were huge herbivores, and Tiny's mom will grow to be even bigger than the Diplodocus. And here's the Diplodocus right here. He's pretty big, though. And this giant dinosaur had a comically tiny brain, they said. And here's that Pteranodon. He's the one that flies. And this one is a Quetzalcoatlus, but Bonehead couldn't pronounce that, and neither can I really. <laughs> and there you go. There's all those different dinosaurs. If you have a dinosaur, or do you have a favorite dinosaur? I'm thinking, I really like the Stegosaurus because of the big plates on his back. I just think that's really neat. But some people like the Triceratops because he's got the three horns. And then the one down here. And some people like the T-Rex because he's huge. So, anyway. So those are the dinosaurs. And the next thing we're going to do is... We're going to do our ABCs. You ready? I'm going to bring T-Rex over here so he can help. If you can stay up there. You ready? So we're going to say the alphabet like dinosaurs. So we need to get our big jaws up there. We're going to do it like this. Ready? I'm going to start with the letter A. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, G U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. All right, you ready for this one? Children, children, what do you see? I see a Blue dinosaur looking at me. Blue dinosaur, blue dinosaur, what do you see? 
I see a purple dinosaur looking at me. Purple dinosaur, purple dinosaur, what do you see? I see a yellow dinosaur looking at me. Yellow dinosaur, yellow dinosaur, what do you see? I see a green dinosaur looking at me. Good job, if you remembered those colors, good job. So, that is all I have for today, except the crafts, you ready? So, I found during quarantine, I run out of construction paper very easily. So, paper plates are a good way to go. So, you can use two paper plates. And, I'm gonna use this one. And the first thing you're going to do, you're going to draw your dinosaur. So let me show you how I draw my dinosaur. He's kind of a cartoon. So I draw an oval. Like that. And then I'm going to draw him two eyes. So there are two circles. And it looks like that. It looks kind of crazy right now, but as you go on, add more details. I'm gonna give him eyelids, and literally all I'm gonna do is do a straight horizontal line across those circles. And then I'm gonna put the black circle that goes in the eye. Like that. Then I'm gonna, hmm, do I wanna make him, no, I think I'll stick with this. Um, just a little, he's going to have a little, a little plate on his head, like that. And then I'm going to put his little mouth down here. Or it's, really it's his jaw. And then I'll put a little smile. See? And then I'll put little nostrils like that and then I'll give them some shoulders so just kind of curve down and then I'm gonna give them a chest and sometimes the belly of reptiles if you notice look at on him they have these lines and it it's a different color it's usually a lighter color on their belly, so I'm going to do that. So I've got that. Just two lines. And then I'm going to color yellow. And yellow for his... i got yellow. And you don't have to do that. You can pick whatever color you want. And then I'm going to go with green for his skin, his other parts. Color, 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 color. There he is. And then I'm going to put, I already did this, but I took another paper plate and I cut it. And then I'm going to put one. You can either glue it or staple the bottom part. Mm -hmm. Like that. And add a little detail, like some, some spots. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to color just the cracks so it stands out more. So it looks more jagged. Like it actually cracked, you know. And then I'm gonna do some spots. For some reason, we think dinosaur eggs had spots back then, but I don't think we really know. Just like the color of their their skin, I don't think we, we don't scientists don't really know. They're just kind of guessing. So there's his bottom part, and there he is. And you can just leave it like that. Or if you have a brad like I have on here, you can stick one of those in. Or if you could put a hole in it, 
you could use a little bit of a pipe cleaner to do it. But you know what? Sometimes we don't have that kind of stuff, so we just make do with what we got. And look at I got a little dinosaur coming out of my egg. And that's it, guys. Next week, we're going to do, we're going to make a pterodactyl out of a toilet paper roll. So you'll just need construction paper, a toilet paper roll, and glue. And that's it. So anyways, I hope you guys had fun. We are still, the library is doing curbside only. So just um, give us a call at 854-3509. Here's our information. Or you could email us and we have a limit of of five items that we can get for you just because it it takes kind of a long time and then um you'll also tell me to tell us like when to pick up and the hours are different too so anyway here is the information there you go all right i hope you guys had fun thank you for joining me bye see you next time